Hey guys, it's Cole, and with people starting to get off of work and wanting to hop onto Final Fantasy XIV and tackle Island Sanctuary, they're going to want to know, hey, what is new and what is going on here? And so I'm going to be doing this condensed summary of all new items, all the new Pokemon, all the new gatherables and crops, the UI revamp, and more here. Lots to cover, so let's get it right into it. So if you're already ranked 10 and just getting back into Island Sanctuary, then the Felicious Furball will have a brand new quest for you called Passionate Pioneering. And the Felicious Furball will also give you the ability to learn the iron hatchet crafting recipe which is honestly super easy to craft and then from there you get told to continue to develop your hideaway which is uh very broad to say the least if i'm frank at this point you're just being largely left to your own devices to level build up more resources and create more crafts for calories now if you aren't currently ranked 10 that is awesome that you're trying island sanctuary and i really do hope you enjoy it but this is more of a like patch 6.3 exclusive content you're going to be wanting to refer to some of my older island sanctuary videos where i go into like super good depths and give a more gentle walkthrough on everything it's really good content and if you are brand new here i earnestly hope you enjoy it i think that island sanctuary is just freaking cool so let's first talk about the new items that you can get from the shopkeep as soon as you go to the shopkeep you're going to notice that they have an updated user interface that's going to divide items among exclusive wares equipment furnishings materia and other miscellaneous items now in terms of those items a few new additions here at rank 10 items that you can get include sky blue back a minion the felicious furball umbrella which is totally not sussy among us and the new custom island sanctuary adventure play frames under the exclusive wares as well as the alligator horn mount once you're high enough rank and it's going to cost you 35,000 calories it is going to be a big purchase now for equipment and furnishings we get this brand new color for flower patch low garden hedge laminate stand stone garden wall new farmer straw bed and then checking the final tab you of course have all those amazing crafting materials as well as the three incredibly high value dies in green same as before really a lot of good stuff here like especially with new housing being added that i'm going to be talking about probably starting tomorrow or the day after uh these items are really great like i'm a huge fan of that colorful flower patch for instance i think it's just a really really awesome i almost said rad there and i'm like don't call it rad now let's continue talking about ui updates since they are actually pretty big and do definitely improve island sanctuary for a lot like if you've already hit rank 10 you've probably felt a lot of the pain points that were relieved here so the collect all items button is huge and it exists now both for animals and the crops no more click in each and every single individual pokemon and collecting all the items from all the pokemon i'm gonna collect them all didn't mean <laughs> collecting the leavings from the animals anyhow it's just fantastic ui change very much welcome it's something i've wanted for a long time you also get a brand new set of instructions from the gear menu under sanctuary settings you can now specifically target the items you want to gather and what really shows up in your map and then you can control exactly who can and can't enter your island sanctuary there's a bunch of orchestrian changes which allows you to have better control over your music and what goes on with that now the earnings report screen looks like it got a revamp too but it's focused on the current season so there's no way to go back to a previous season yet unfortunately but this is definitely going to give us a lot of handy information to really compare what's going on there so it looks like it's revamped obviously i will only be able to tell once i actually get into the system but it looks definitely like there's been at least some improvements and then the isle handicraft page at rank 10 already has a few new crafts as soon as i load it in there but obviously you're getting even more at rank 11 now like because you have the new paprika and other crops i'm going to talk about in a second here like you have at rank 10 already the isle works sea shine opal the coral sword island coconut juice island dried flowers but here at rank 11 you get the powered paprika isle loaf papoto salad dressing and that's going to be really freaking awesome to play with all those others and now talking about the user interface in general for crafting is you can absolutely tell pretty quickly that the user interface has been massively and i truly honestly mean massively improved there is a ton of features here like popularity demand shift predicted popularity and supply which weren't on the main page of the item originally and that's just absolutely magnificent at this point the only thing that i would think that i could want would be the ability to open both windows simultaneously at the same time just so that i could have them side by side the supply and demand filter menu it's magnificent as well as the items that i'm picking and scheduling truly this is a 
very welcome change that we've wanted for a long time. Now let's talk about other new t additions, like the more tangible things. And so first up, let's talk about buildings. There aren't really any new rank ups for the granary or any other structure, but instead there is that giant roller coaster like outdoor item that we saw from the live letter, which is just super incredibly out of the world cool. I find it just like, what? Uh, and I kind of also realized as I was going through this that I never clicked on the placard of this one building when I was checking. Uh, oops. Well, that's embarrassing. Anyhow, there's just not really any other building upgrades for this patch for Iron Sanctuary buildings. Probably going to come in 6.4 is what I'm getting the best indication of. It's going to be a big sweeping patch. But for 6.3, just the rank 12, you can build this big landmark. Now, in terms of Gather of Loot, then brand new items can be collected immediately as soon as even rank 10. The first one is the Island Multicolored Flowers that can be collected, I think, at the best location. There's, there's a few, but there's X of 21.9, y of 16.7 you will be able needing to fly to get here but they do appear in some other locations too honestly i haven't found any other great spawns where you can easily collect a bunch i know people are going to fly to this exact location and be like uh this area kind of sucks i completely agree with you they are very hard to collect now for the rest of the items generally i was doing most of these around coordinates of x of 19.4 y of 20 when i first discovered them the first one is island wood opal is from mahogany trees it is mahogany hunger games please palm trees now give coconuts apple trees give beehive chips oh god i don't want those apple trees <laughs> anymore that's scary and then island raisins are from what is called tua log trees Trees, and I actually was told that that's what they're apparently called and I'm like what two log trees what's that now for new Pokemon there's gonna be three the Griffin the Morbol or aka the stinky and then the tiger so Griffin is gonna be available from 3 to 6 p.m. or Eorzea time when the weather is specifically clear skies around the coordinates of X of 14.8 Y of 22.5 the tiger is available from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eorzea time and falls under the fair skies at coordinates of X of 15 Y of 14 now lastly I hate to admit it I have been trying and and check in and do an, about everything that I can to find it, but I'm gonna need to do a follow-up video for the Big Stinky, the Morbol. The Big Stinky comes out most likely during special weather condition at a special time, and me and no one I know actually knows it yet when or where it is. As soon as I learn more, I'm gonna probably do a follow-up update video for this Pokemon. I apologize. Should be noted, none of these animals give any new leaving, so if you're worried about explicitly that, then I really wouldn't worry, but the new Pokemon are new Pokemon, and I enjoy that, so I went ahead and got a catch Pokemon. Now finally for seeds, there are two brand new seeds that you can get once you hit rank 11. You just buy them from the vendor. They are paprika seeds and leek seeds which will enable brand new crafts that you unlock at rank 11. And with that, you're now back to being up to date with Island Sanctuary and all the changes in patch 6.3. I gotta say the UI changes and the rest are absolutely stunning. Also the tiger's freaking badass to say the least. I love it. Though catching it with the medium sized pokeball was really strange if I'm honest. I sure as heck wouldn't want to do that. Thankfully the tiger's friend I don't know if that's because I'm a Rothgar and it's like, hey, I'm not going to hurt this Rothgar, but I can tell you if I was Lullafell, I would probably not be doing that. I don't know if that's why, as I question the wisdom of such an action. Anyhow, if you're also looking for the best way to level an island sanctuary I, with absolute minimum effort, and I really mean it like literally pressing two buttons, check out my other video on island sanctuary leveling guide that I'm going to have in both the pinned comment and the description below. Happy island sanctuary, everyone, and I really hope that you enjoy patch 6.3. Do catch you in the next one.